Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. I took a time-lapse photography road trip to Norway with my dad last year. The final time-lapse video has been up on my channel for quite a while now, so if you haven't watched it yet, click up here and tell me how you think of it. I also recorded a lot of behind-the-scenes footage during the trip that I want to show you now in this video. Have fun! From Germany you can reach Norway either by ferry directly from Denmark or by land from Denmark to Sweden via the Ørsson Bridge. Since we booked way too late and it takes more or less nothing in terms of time, we opted for the second option and drove with my parents' Volkswagen Camper the about 1500 kilometers to our first destination in Norway. Norway welcomed us with mixed weather. During the drive we had plenty of sun, at our first spot it had just rained a lot, which only made the landscape more interesting. There was an enchanted atmosphere and there were only four other people besides us. We arrived at our first spot of our Norway trip. Uh, we're here in Jette Grütene, um, or also called Giant Kettle in English, or Giant's Kettle. It's actually a river which is washed out um, in the last uh, ice age and formed big potholes uh, where you can actually swim when it's not as, as cold and rainy as it's today. Uh, at the moment I'm taking a time lapse um, with, the, with the slider. So there's the A6000 with the 18105 millimeter lens on top. Um, I'm using the sliding system from Edelkron on the Manfrotto, how is it called, tripod. And uh, yeah, actually it's, we're not allowed to, to pass this line, so we won't do that. Um, and the, 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 the framing is, or the picture will be that the, um, the camera is moving from behind this, um, this pine tree and is looking towards this burnt up tree you can see over there in the background we have this mountain where the clouds are moving through because actually today it's rainy so this is always a on the one hand it's uh, so so having rain is on the one hand a win because then you will have those epic clouds which are hanging inside the mountains but on the other hand actually if it's raining you have to you have to pack up your gear which is not waterproof um, and actually everything gets wet and if it's too much rain of course you can't use your gear at all uh, at the moment we have the win-win situation that we're having the clouds and it's not raining at the moment so um, i'm really stoked for this time lapse the time lapse captured is one of my favorite shots from the entire vacation the colors of the small bushes in the foreground combined with the rough rocks just look great then, when the camera comes out from behind the tree and the single tree which is burned in the bottom comes into focus with the turbulent clouds in the background, there's something beautiful but also very menacing about it. If you want to see how I edited the time-lapse sequence using Lightroom and other time-lapse, write it down in the comments below. Go for a little drone flight, actually for this uh, I, I bought the DJI M3 Mini Pro, Mini 3 Pro for this trip and I think we we'll can take some epic footage with it. After the drone was packed up again and we had a good look at the surroundings, we jumped back into the car and on the way back to the main road we met a sheep together with its lamp completely by chance in the middle of the forest so that we had to stop immediately because it was really an encounter that neither we nor the sheep would have expected I think. Since we always had everything with us in the camper we were able to just stop in nature and cook lunch together with a coffee at the shore of a big lake. Here I experimented a bit more with the time-lapse function of the DJI Mini 3 Pro. A few hours later we stopped at the edge of a fjord on the way to our next destination because we thought the view was so great. 
I quickly mounted the camera on the tripod and took this great time lapse. Since the clouds have moved so quickly an interval of 5 seconds was enough, so that the entire recording took only 25 minutes. When we left again it started to rain heavily after a short time and that should accompany us for the next few days, which has really complicated the photography. So this was just the first day since we arrived in Norway and we visited many more great places and struggled a lot with the weather in Norway. If you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up so I know if you want to see more of this trip. Until then, see you soon.